have them, but I am a mosquito bite like me. Really? Just feel it right here. I don't that's, see. That's not a mosquito bite, that's my muscle. Oh. See, if a meteor ever hit the earth, then the worms would just evaporate. Do you think that it would take hours, hours for the slowest human on earth to walk across an entire blue wing? The, the slowest human on earth? Yeah. It could take longer than that if it's the slowest human on earth. The slowest human on earth might not move at all. Uh, might never get to the other side of that whale. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And they would be walking, as I said, walk. Oh, they're walking. Okay, well, the slowest humans on earth don't walk. They crawl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Top oh. of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful I people do today. I thought about jumping over this chair and then I realized maybe knocking over these kids wouldn't work. So we're doing a hold back video today. Hold back, for those of you guys who don't know, it's if, when you produce a snake, you produce a baby snake. You would probably crush the bone if you jumped, if you tried to jump over this chair. You produce a baby snake and you don't sell it and you keep it to be for a future breeder that's that's a holdback sometimes i hear, hear people refer to uh their kids as holdbacks which i think is pretty dumb and that's coming from the guy that uh that compared no. autism to spider ball python so yeah uh but these are th these are my holdbacks look, look at this guy right here he's he's got some of that russian going on he's 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 got that island thing going on in the face but also that blonde hair and those those green eyes. This this guy, this guy's a powerhouse. Look at the genetics on this guy. He's a powerhouse. And then this one over here, he's just super cute. It's not necessarily about the genetics with this one. It's just like you know that those uh, just those uh, the quality qu quality over quantity with this one right here. <laughs> you can talk, yeah, bud. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Um, hey Noah. You might be able to see my mosquito bite. I'm not sure because I can. Hey, no. Ba, 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 ba. What? I know you're going to say what do you know. Well, but, but can I say it still? What do you know? I know. What about dinosaurs? That dinosaur means terrible lizard. And I know about 200 different species. Really? Well, let's not try and name them all right now. That'll take a long time. I'll tell you. Tell me three of them. Out ten. Okay, if you can do it in five seconds. Okay. Um, T Rex, Albertosaurus, Argentinosaurus, Velociraptor, Utah Raptor, uh, Dimet. I mean. Oh, five seconds is up. Oh. <laughs> hey, Eli. I'm flying. <laughs> what do you know? What about King Dora? That he, that he brings that he brings lightning and he then put lightning out of his wings and he stand on a volcano and that's all I know. <laughs> you guys and your Godzilla yeah. man. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna bust out actual holdbacks that snakes that we produced that we've kept back to be future breeders or just kept back to be uh, pets, most likely future breeders, but let's start with number one. So this is Mr. Pink. He is an Enchi Lesser Posset Sunset. He's actually the first snake that we produced here at Triple B. He is a guy. Mr. Pink is a guy. Yep. Yep. And, girl. and we're potentially going to breed him one day to prove out that, that oh, Posset Sunset. And uh, oh. we're not sure exactly when that's going to take place, but I think that it, it probably will. Anyway, Enchi Lesser, he was the first and only one to survive out of the first clutch we produced here at Triple B. Daddy, and, uh, I can't hold him for much longer. <laughs> okay, come come, scoot in over here a little closer. You're kind of getting out of the shot. My favorite is corn snake. I can't hold him for longer. Is he getting too heavy for you? Well, support yeah. him with your whole arm. Use your, use your whole arms. Let go. Cradle him in your arms like a baby. There you go. Now you can hold him better, huh? He's like a baby. <laughs> like a baby snake. He is like a baby snake. But he's not. He's a grown-up snake. He's a grown-up snake, yeah. 
That's Mr. Pink. This is Cindy. She's an Enchi Firefly clown. She was from the second clutch, clutch we ever did. Don't poke her face, bud. Can she gets scared. Head. Don't pet her head. She don't like it. And uh, she actually produced a clutch for us here this season. Ah, and uh, <laughs> Claw Boy over here Sight. is going to make it really hard to do this video. And her I name's Cindy. Boy. And she's beautiful. Oh, yeah. And our second holdback ever. Hey, hey, Claw Boy, it's really tough to do this video over here when you keep Daddy, clawing him in my face. She just put it on the, the very top of the very length of her snout in the camera. Yeah, she's a snout girl. She's Put beautiful. It in there. I have a snout girl. Don't shake her. Ho, ho, ho. Come on, my dude. Oh, what is going I on don't. with you guys? You guys. Are... Okay, we're going to do one more snake and then we're going to. For each of us? No, just one. Well, I guess that would be fair, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't <laughs> This This is Bridget. But it's Eli's turn. Come on, dude. This is Bridget. She is a cinnamon sunset that we produced. Obviously, since she's a holdback, that's kind of part of being a holdback is you, you produced it. And her pattern is incredible. The, the coloration obviously is not as, you know, it's a cinnamon, cinnamon doesn't really hold the sunset colors very well at all, as you can see. But the pattern, the pattern on here is quite intricate and did hold up very well, I believe. And adding Enchi to this, like we did another snake that we ended up giving to Miguel, well, not giving. If you add Enchi to this combo, which we're going to do in a future pairing, with her is just like, it's the key, I believe, to really bringing out the sunset colors of what they have to offer. But still the pattern on this girl, she's still beautiful in her own right. Even not color wise necessarily, the, her color is somewhat, it's like olive python almost now that I'm looking at it in the camera. But she's definitely, she's definitely beautiful. She's a gorgeous snake. <laughs> because. Look at that, look at that, look at that snake, dude. Look at that snake, it's a gorgeous Pink. snake. Yeah. It's Beautiful. Yeah. She's guiding me, I can't hold her for long. Yeah. Look at that, see, look at that pattern right there. Look at how the, the GHI type of influence of the sunset. Oh, it's really cool. I like it, I like it. Hey, why weren't my fingers showing? Because you're, you're behind the camera, you dong dong. Ooh. All right, we're gonna get one more for Noah, and then, and then we're gonna go check out. And then we're gonna go to Brandon's show since we yesterday, if you saw, we, we missed. He's on me. We missed Brandon's show. He's tangling me up. You're a tangly tangle guy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Princess. She was a pairing between the king and the queen, hence the name, and she's a piebald, 100% het clown, female that we held back here and. Where's I'm looking king? like she's the king's over over there, and it's looking like she's gonna go this next coming season here. So, hoping to uh, produce our first clown piebalds over here, and that would be pretty freaking sweet. You gonna show us your head, baby? You're just gonna hide out. She's just gonna hide, huh? Wow. Oh, nice job, my guy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Look at that girl. Ah, you freaking monkey! <laughs> I think it's time. I think it's time to go to Brandon's show. Let's go to but Brandon's show. What about my tail? Well, your tail it turned into it went into my ear, and now it's just like I don't know what's going on anymore. But I, I need to think. Daddy's one. Daddy's ideas always seem really good when he thinks I about them. I for one more minute. Oh, go ahead. But for, as for me, I'm I'm out of here. You guys can do whatever you want. I. Don't go! Don't leave with us! Don't leave with you? Yeah. Okay, I'll leave with myself. <gasps> no! Noah fell ill suddenly, so he's not making it, but me and Scrimmon's gonna have a little show. It doesn't look like there's a lot of people here, my guy. We might just be the only people here. What do you think about that? Yeah, you like that? Oh, wait, no. Here come people. You did it. <laughs> That's your first step. You did it. Now, I expect tomorrow to get an email saying, Hey Brandon, I went and bought my first snake. <laughs>
was a much smaller show than, than Brandon usually does. There was only like, it was like four or five kids in there. But that goes back to what I was talking about the other day after our show we were playing at, uh, our music show. Uh, and Brandon was a perfect example. He just, he did his show the way he does it. You know, lowered his voice a little bit because he didn't need to speak as loudly, but just ran his show just as if there, it doesn't matter if there's 200 people, 600 people, or 20 people. You just, you just do it, and he's doing it because that's that's what he does. That's what he loves to do. So he does it that way, no matter what what happens in front of you. You just do what you do. Right? Do I say, do I, am I getting way too? Am I trying trying too hard to be philosophical? No, no, no. Oh no! Thanks, Eli, for the confidence. I'm, that's yeah. Let's go home. You ready to go home? If there was ever something that really just drives me crazy, it's and drives my mental health like to the point of like it, unhealthy, it is messy places. I can't really do messy places very well. My mind gets cluttered, and next thing I know, I'm like losing it a little bit. Hillary is actually working on fixing it, starting with this closet right here. It's a. I've looked in that closet on on occasions and thought. Oh no, I don't know if I can ever even look in that closet again. It's like the, one of the, probably the biggest strains on, on our marriage is yeah. Hillary's ability to live in messy spaces yeah. and my ability to just lose my mind when I'm in them. Like what's, what's happening? I don't like it. I don't like living in messy spaces, but I prioritize time with my children over cleaning the house. <laughs> no, I clean the house, but I am starting to get really irritated by clutter and things that aren't organized, so. I'm getting, you, you're rubbing off on me. And probably a little too much caffeine this morning. <laughs> All right, we need to feed Hillary caffeine on a daily basis from here on out. His throat hurts a little bit. <clears throat> probably from too much whining. <laughs> no, it's been hurting from this morning. And if you want to be morning. organized, don't buy this game. This is the worst box possible to put a game with a bunch of little fish pieces in it. Because you can't put it away. What do you have to say for yourself, Mushy? No. No? What did you have to do with this meth? Have you been helping clean up? Yeah? Did you help clean up a lot? Well, she did stack some plates. She did. She you stack, you stack and plates, Mushy? And then Eli took them apart. Waka, waka, waka. I just wanted to share that because if there's ever a moment when I have a complete breakdown and... All of a sudden, Brian's in the mental hospital and nobody knows what happened. The first thing I want people to ask is, was the house clean? Leave a comment down below if you have three children and your house is clean all the time. <laughs> Sounds like a convenient excuse to me. <laughs> and on that note, we're out of here. See you tomorrow. Dude, how freaking cool is that, man? The scene up in the tree like that just makes me want to, like, build a giant room with some trees in it and just that was so cool how she just climbed right up there man i just i, I really would love to 